I came up with this idea of an eight-week challenge uploading to stock photography sites. And I came up with this idea because I get a lot of comments of people saying, you know, how can I force myself to do more work? How can I force myself to create more uploads? Well, of course, there are tools and things that we've kind of shown in the YouTube videos that are automation tools and things that help through tagging and creation. And pretty much everybody who watches my channel knows about this kind of stuff. I mean, I have videos of it in the course. I have, you know, the different tools on videos on YouTube. And like I said, all the links will be in the description. I've said this before. But there's this eight-week challenge I would like to present to you guys. And hopefully the goal is not really to accomplish the challenge per se, but to come out as a renewed individual with much more capability than you had before. And let me kind of explain before you click off the video. So every month has four weeks. We know this, right? So month one has four weeks, and then month two has four weeks, and that will combine into eight weeks, right? So essentially two, uh, to eight weeks or two months, right? And my idea behind this, and I shared this before, is that what you could do is you can create one month of creation, right, and one month of uploading. However, we all know that uploading takes a little bit more time than creation. And obviously, it depends on who you are and what tools you have access to. So for me personally, I'm not creating manually pretty much any images. AI is basically being automated and taken care of for me where it's creating images for me and it's upload uh, excuse me upscaling the images for me so there's no real issue in, in terms of me creating or anything like that but the uploading right i have to upload them i have to you know hit the little scanner button and it will scan different images and provide me tags on that, copy and paste them. So things like that, right? I might use the fast tagger depending on what kind of images that I'm currently uploading that will help me out. And it will process a lot more images faster. But to, you know, to be specific, I still have to kind of go over the keywords and things like that. So what I kind of came up with the idea is why don't we do a 10,000 upload challenge, 10K challenge, right? Where in the first four weeks, you try to create over 10, well, not over, but around 10,000 images. And then you're obviously, or go the goal is to create these 10,000 before the first month is up so that you can save or allocate as many days to the uploading process. Take those 10,000, they should be upscaled by, by the time you're in the creation phase. Take those 10,000 and then finally upload them and process them with the rest of the days. Even if you don't reach 10,000, which once again, 10,000 is not necessarily your goal, but even if you don't reach 10,000, you're still probably doing more than what you used to. One of the things that I said in my past videos, I've even said it in the course, is don't quit until you reach that 10,000 number. 10,000 published uploads, don't quit. Sit there and wait for it to make you some money. You could even sit back and not work after you completed all that work, just to see how beneficial it actually is. And a lot of the times, people think it has to take a year or two years or three years, but it could take it could really be a lot faster than that. And like I said, if you focus on a challenge for a very short period of time, after the challenge period, which is the intensity, you're kind of coasting, but even that coasting phase is going to be much greater than the coasting phase you had prior to the challenge. So let's say normally in a month, if I was to make 1,500 images a month, and then I decided to hop on this challenge and all of a sudden I do 6,500, yes, I never achieved 10K, that was never the goal, but at least now, after the 6,500, the challenge is over, to me, generating 3K or 3.5K a month images is much easier, uh, or at least my point of view is that I can achieve it pretty easily. And all it took was a small period of time to get better at the uploading process, at the creation process, which beats my past performance. So I always kind of do this in various different businesses where I look at my performance for a period of time and then I give myself a challenge. And then after the challenge, the new performance level is going to be significantly higher than the old performance level prior to the challenge. And yet it's going to feel easier because I'm not struggling through the challenge period. And you know, that's kind of helped me drastically with time, but you can do something like this. You could do this eight, two month challenge, eight weeks, 
where you try to create as many images as possibly can, right? Let's just say 10,000, 8,000, whatever the number is, close to 10,000, that should be the goal. Don't go over 10,000. And you should hopefully be able to create it in a period of time that's less than four weeks. No more than four weeks, but hopefully less than four weeks. And then during that four-week period, or that less than four-week period, you take all of that money, or excuse me, all of those images, and then you upload them in an effort to achieve more money. Now, that the uploading phase could be five weeks, six weeks, but it only is the maximum, the whole entire period is eight weeks. So if you're spending six weeks on uploading, that means you only spent two weeks on creating, right? And this is, like I said, a challenge phase to kick yourself into high gear so that you're, you're, what you're normally used to doing is ramped up at such a high level that even after the challenge, you're performing much better than you used to be, and yet it's less struggle for you. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of people think that success is uh, kind of linear, meaning they, it's like a step-by-step kind of thing, like a staircase. And that's not actually the case. There are a lot of people who skip steps and maintain success in that skipping approach. I think a lot of people's mentality or their success is controlled by their mentality. And I've seen that within myself. If I have a limiting belief and I actually truly believe in that limiting belief, well, then it's going to be a crutch to me. It's going to hold me back. But if I have an idea that I can accomplish something or I can do something, right, that's going to be something that propels me forward. Even if it is meta, is very meta, meaning it's not something I could touch, it's not something I could see, but it's almost a blueprint within me, almost like my chromosomes. It's something that's inside of me, really. And that thought process, that intangible quality, is what makes the difference between somebody who produces you know, five times more, a hundred times more than all of their peers and competitors. So once again, it all lies in the mentality. And the whole purpose of this challenge is to alter the mentality after the challenge is completed. Because what happens is, like I said, you're struggling through this period of the challenge where you're really, really trying to push yourself as hard as you possibly can. There might be days where you come home from work or something like that and you're super tired. You don't want to do anymore, but you do it anyway because you're in this challenge. You're telling yourself, I'm not going to be doing this forever, it's just for a short period of time. And every day, you're kind of pushing yourself. You're going through this struggle phase. And then once the challenge is over and you revert back to, let's just say, normal behavior, your normal behavior is going to be at a higher level than what you, you were in the past, like I said. And it's not even going to be difficult to achieve a higher level. It's just going to feel very natural to you. So go through these kind of pain periods and normal will feel, you know, unreasonably easy. And that would be, like I said, your normal level. And after the challenges, you should be able to perform a lot higher. So this is a challenge for a reason. It's not necessary that you have to achieve everything, but you want to shoot for the moon and hopefully land to the stars. I'll talk to you guys. Thank you for watching. See you guys soon. Peace out. Bye.